Hi, and welcome to lesson six. I'll just find the screen to share. There we go. Fantastic. So lesson six. So we looked at flashbacks. We created characters. We've created our setting. We've looked at flashbacks yesterday. And now we need to create that fast paced narrative for the chase sequence. It occupies the majority of the film. Don't forget you can watch the film at any time you wish. Okay, today I want you to learn, think about sequencing main events to create a fast paced narrative. We want to sequence the chase scene from the film, picking up the main events and describing them and planning them before maybe writing one of them. You can pause this video at any time, but you will need pen or pencil, paper to write on. There are some worksheets that you can use or copy the ideas from and you can watch the film all the way to the end. Here we are, and your brain as well. Please pause now to collect that information, or the brain. Now they're all together. Play the film at last to the end. If you've not been allowed to peek before, I wonder if you have, but then you have my permission to play it to the end. After you've done that, pause and answer these questions. Did it end as you predicted? What do you think the man is running from and why? What do you think happened to the world now and why? What do you think the man's quest is that could lead on? Pause, please. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Now today in this lesson, we'll be focusing on the chase that happens in the film. How did you feel? What were your reactions? What techniques do filmmakers have that we, are, we will not be able to use in creating the written word? And how can you capture the same tension and suspense in our writing? Hmm. That's today's challenge. We've got some ideas to help you out with. On to the next part. Now the challenge is to create the chase. It's four minutes in the film, it's a big part of it. Fast paced, snappy, exciting. It's in the present tense, it's happening now. Now, as I see it, there are four main parts. Part one, our character hears the sound, begins to run away. The drone appears, chase it, chase. Part two, as we're jumping on the bike, fast, skillful riding. Bombs are released, trying to put the drone off. Part three, weapons are used, deployed, but they fail. Enter into the tunnel in darkness. Finally takes the drones down with bombs. Part four, Unfortunately, the main drone appears. My life flashes before my eyes. Could use a flashback. You reach for the sword, there's a huge jump. You uh, leave the motorbike, you stab the robot and disable it, and you're triumphant. Now today, the task is to create a storyboard or story map. Maybe you'll focus on one of those parts. Maybe you'll do all four of them. Next slide for our planning ideas. Now your task now is to create a storyboard or a story map. Pause and complete this task in just a moment. The story map on the left here just takes the main sequences. I'm not sure that's as, as successful. It might work for you. The storyboard here says you've got part one, part two, and so on. And you list the ideas. You pick out the main events, uh, the main events of the chase. You create a comic book story. Uh, the helps the flow of your writing. You can add in images, small words. Here's one from Roy Lichtenstein, uh, who was a very famous pop artist from the 1960s. So that's your position to do now, your task to do now. Pause and complete that, please. Remember, you can do one of the parts or all four of them. Oh, two or three. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Now, welcome back. As always, we're going to take a moment to check and change and add. If you look at your storyboards and or comic strips, is there enough detail to help tell the story? You could check by running through your ideas. Are there senses? Do they tell the story? Is it short? Is it snappy? Do you use time openers, those adverbials, expanded noun phrases to join up? Does your hero get away? And in lesson seven, 
We're going to use some extra techniques for creating tension and suspense. So please pause and check back and go back. And if you're happy with that, that's all it is. The end of this lesson. Thank you very much.